everyone, welcome to this week's Open Mic. I'm Sabrina Solomon, your host for today. Um, today I have a very special guest with me, um, actor Sa'ara Fitzum, who was recently nominated for the Sotuge Awards um, for Excellent Actor, of Best Actor. Um, we were able to get hold of him from his busy schedule. Thank you so much for your time, Sa'ara. You're welcome, you're welcome. So, please introduce yourself to our viewers first. Well, my name is, as you say, Sa'ara Fitzum. Mm -hmm. and uh, I'm 28 years old. I went to high school in Kehwari College in Mainafi, and then I came to uh, Asma University, and then pretty much about it. I've been working on arts since like, uh, since the day I can remember, but <laughs> pretty mm. much since I was a young kid. The, yeah. the, the, when I, like, the, the time that I started doing it uh, professionally was 2012. Mm -hmm. That's the the time when I started doing it, like be serious about it, mm -hmm. trying to do my music, uh, put out more songs and just like, you know, to the internet streaming services and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So pretty much that's, that's me, but I started acting in 2015. Okay. So um, I think you started as a, a singer. Yeah. But then you shifted to art. So what inspired you to choose that acting road? The thing is this, uh, see, I love music. Mm -hmm. I love music so much. I can't live without music for a single day. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do music since I was like a kid. I used to rap to, to my friends. I like we call it the Zamanao mm -hmm. in this era. Yeah. But you call it rap in English. So we was I was just performing for my like you know for my friends and freestyling for them like all the time since like we was in high school. Mm -hmm. They always like you know motivated me to do more and like they all said someday I'm gonna be really big and like should follow and pursue my like you know my dream mm -hmm. like my career on mm -hmm. arts and like as a rapper and pretty much uh, it, it was it was it was good it was motivating so when i got back from sawa on the 26th round i went to sawa on the 26th round so when i got back here i met a friend mm -hmm. uh we went to this like you know we started going to a studio we started recording there like you know make more songs but we wasn't conscious about a lot of things back then because we was young and so like you know really yeah. kids and stuff. Mm. So all we talked about was things that was not be really, like you know credited good, but we, we did what we had to do. Mm. So I wanted to promote my music mm -hmm. on 2014. Yeah. So I met this guy Marhaw mm -hmm. We was working with Marhaw since like 2013. So on 2014, a year later, I asked him if I could do. A, like if I could be in a movie, mm -hmm. so it helped me promote my music. Mm -hmm. And then my heart was like, yeah, I'd be thankful for him too at this moment. Uh, he was like, yeah, I'm going to introduce you to a friend. Mm -hmm. And you could just like, you know, pretty much like jump on his movies. So we met with Zarasani Anderbran. He took my number and he was like, I'm going to call you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you when I, when, I, when I find a spot for you. And then I, was like, I waited for about two months mm -hmm. and he never called. Oh. So I almost gave up. I thought I was never going to be in the movies. Um, I was like... Maybe I should just like keep doing more video clips and like you know promote my music in uh, different ways. Yeah. But then he called me and I picked up his phone. It was like ten in the morning. Mm -hmm. it was he was like it's he told me it's him director Z. I was like oh shit what's up? <laughs> I was like oh what's up? So what do you want? And he was like I found a spot for you. I think you'd be perfect for it. So come to my office like uh, any day in the morning tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I went to his office get this part. And this movie, Fari Lom uh, which is the first YouTube series movie. Yeah, yeah. We did that. I, I was pre uh, the, he put me on two episodes. So mm. that's pretty much I, how I learned the movie industry. How long it takes to edit, how long it takes to shoot the movie, how long it takes to study the script, how long mm. it takes to, for you to rehearse your character. Mm. Uh, how, like pretty much how everything is done. In the in the business in the movie business mm -hmm. took like you know one lesson from this and one lesson from that yeah you know, time times went by and then about an, a year later after the movie got out yeah which everybody watched and everybody like you know uh, encouraged me to do more mm -hmm. more like movies yeah but but still I was more focused on my music mm -hmm. as I told you I had a whole crew uh, we called it Hounet Records we opened up a studio yeah. we was doing like you know what we wanted to do we was mm -hmm. doing big we was yeah. doing like what we it was meant to do on mm -hmm. purpose. So I was still not serious about no movies. It was just a promotion for me. Yeah. So when Noam Abraham called me, he was mm -hmm. like, I got this movie, I want you to be a part. I was like, I have already done a movie for my promotion. I don't need no more movies. <laughs> I was like, I think you, you, you're going to love it. 
Yeah. Like, okay, why not? Why don't I try it? So I went to like get the script. He gave me the script. I said I read it. Mm-hmm. I read it. I liked it. So I got into the movie. That was my second movie, short movie ever. And I I did the movie with Adam Smato again. Okay. Which I learned more lessons from her. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie got out. It actually got nominated in a lot of awards in Kenya, France, and a lot of places. Mm. So it was very motivating. I started seeing myself as an actor back then, oh. in that moment. I thought maybe if I study this this thing, I can be good at it. I had passion for acting, but not as big as for music. Yeah, yeah. that was the difference. Okay. I wanted to do movies, but mm-hmm. I wasn't I wasn't per se like you know very passionate about it because I was so into music. I wanted my music to go big. I wanted yeah. my music to like you know reach the whole world because I I had the message that mm-hmm. I wanted to put out there, but. That's not how we went. So the movie went really good. I started doing more movies. Then eventually we met with the Besai Waldo. Yeah. We did much a lot. He got me to meet more the writers, directors, uh, more producers, more mm. of everything. It was it, it was amazing. Mm. And then I did more movies after that in this past three years in Corona times and the pandemic. So how many movies have you done so far? Twenty three plus. All of my movies are my favorite. I love them as my own kids. Okay. Well, that's what every artist says. <laughs> <laughs> so we've uh, we've seen you shine um, in different movies throughout the years. We've seen you grow. We've seen you shine and um, show your talent. But the Sotogi Awards um, that you were recently nominated for Best Actor. Let's talk about that. What was the movie that got you to the Sotogi okay. Awards? Yeah, yeah, Sotogi Awards. Uh, this year they're doing the sevens. Uh, annual Sotigi Award mm-hmm. gala. So the movie is called Sa'a. Johannes uh, Odeshme wrote mm-hmm. the movie. Mm-hmm. When Johannes brought the movie, like you know, he wrote the script and he called me, he was like, I want you in Nyat to be on this movie. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what is this movie about? It's like, it's about the war that was between 1998 and 2000 mm-hmm. between Eritrea and Ethiopia. It's mm-hmm. a true story about this guy from America. And he, he died at the war, mm-hmm. fighting, for his, fighting for his country. So mm-hmm. I liked it so much. Everybody liked it so much, we wanted to do it in our own names. Okay. So maybe the impression would be like, you know, attached to us and stuff like mm. that because it's a very uh, patriotic movie. So okay. We decided to get on that and mm. uh, we did the movie, Sa'ada, and then I played my role in there as the character Sa'ada. Uh, and uh, we, we took about four days in Adria to shoot the movie. Mm-hmm. We went, we was going around to Balo Kolo, San Afa, and uh, we was at Hawazu, um, and then about a week, about four or five days later, we got back to Smaro, finished the whole outdoor shoot, and like, you know, the field shoots. Yeah. Uh, field shots, and we, we finished that, we got back to uh, Asmara, and then we did the rest two days. Mm-hmm. We did the rest two days, and we was done with shooting. Okay. So he went to editing. When he finished it, he called us, we watched it, and then we was... Uh, on a bit of our argument mm-hmm. on like you know what the message should be on the end of the the, the movie yeah we was all like some of us was like uh, let's do this some of us was let's do that yeah but we did what we had to do anyways mm-hmm. the, and we all agreed on one point we all agreed on one point and we all decided to let the movie out mm-hmm. like you know let people see it on youtube and like you know uh, local movie promotions and like let's collect the, the the ideas and like the feedback that they give us mm-hmm. so we can remake the movie either remake the movie or re-edit the movie or whatever we wanted to do with it yeah and then we all agreed on that so we released it we released it on youtube and like uh, on uh, the, the local movie stores mm-hmm. and g- collected all the feedback mm-hmm. got all the comments that people want us to like you know change yeah. and like make so we re-edited the movie yeah and then we send it to the sotoki awards mm-hmm. uh, Academy. There was uh, like thousands of movies always like reached them, mm-hmm. and out of these thousands of movies, they always like pick a few. Mm-hmm. So I had a connection with this guy who helped a lot. He lives yeah. in Canada. His name is Sami Sami Samson Gavras Gavir. He's a very uh, interested guy. Mm-hmm. He's always interested on Eritrean movies and Eritrean promotions. He's trying to do a lot of big things for Eritrean artists. Mm-hmm. Like last time, he took uh, Macholo to the next level. He's the one who. Yeah. Let the like you know signed up to for Machalo to participate in that award. Mm-hmm. So he did that for me. So mm-hmm. he, he called me. He was like, I want to your movie. I'm, I'm put it there. Mm-hmm. I was like so happy, excited. I told him, I hope we make it to the finals. And even if we don't, the fact that we get there is just a big deal. Yeah. 
because like I wanted us like we all wanted to make our movies like you know uh, at least continental mm -hmm. at the African level yeah because we have a lot of message to say and a lot of things that we wanted to say so yeah we reached out with Sami and like gave it to him took it to soft to get words mm -hmm. and waited for about uh, four or five months and then he said you're pre-nominated I didn't get the word pre-nominated either. <laughs> I was like, what is pre-nominated? Am I nominated or not? I'm nominated. What's up? And then yeah. he was like, you're pre-nominated. You're nominated, but you need, they're asking you to send you, like, you know, send them your, your photos and stuff for the nomination posters. I was like, so I'm nominated. He was like, it's pre-nominated. I'm like, oh man, I'm never going <laughs> to understand this. <laughs> Anyways, I sent them my pictures yeah. uh, to the Sotsugi Academy. Mm -hmm. And then they posted it for 10 days. Mm -hmm. So I was expecting only to be on a, uh, on one category, like, you know, if yeah. it gets there. Yeah. Which surprised me, got to in three categories, mm -hmm. which was unexpected. Okay. <laughs> really surprising. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thanks, you, Um So let's take a minute to watch the trailer first, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> The charter would dim had a net African, a rat haggarat and mithas, net fullut ahbra udobs ear, the merit air tra abgaz atu the atu, had dish carta kalil tigrai outse. Abhamlesh him chat meeting as ancho atten, net fullut merit air tra zone, ad murut to mugbat, ab uzits on ho air traum in Mehadara frisu, his be ad muruk, so he go. Baba. أنا خبها في اللهم على رئيس مرن كنا مرة زيادة بك تطوعي تهجر عدي نعيك تولي تكلي أميتا أبوي همدن أبوك وين أبين لنا تغلطة سومن نا أميركا كان كيرينا أميركا كان كيرينا تناي دكتوري تمشت أدل نتي مسلا زلو Los Angeles, how what I've got a medical doctor. That's why I know nurse gets an hour. But the Harry would the Hagar Queen cut up the Bizalaka, not up the Arbaka. And how Jamie Zaber could lose Volkun up in the My character is this guy who's uh, from America, who left to America when he was a kid with his dad. His mm -hmm. mom passed away giving birth to him, so he went to America like uh, took educations there for nursing. Mm -hmm. He finished the nursing college, mm -hmm. and then he was pretty much interested on photography too. So yeah. he's very well uh, talented on that mm -hmm. level too. So he comes back to Eritrea to uh, reach out more historical sites and like take photos of that mm -hmm. uh, historical sites with his dad. Okay. And his dad wanted to do like you know he, he's a doctor in America, so he wanted to continue his career in Eritrea and like help with his people mm -hmm. like you know move them to the next level yeah. with all the, the knowledge that he gained throughout the years and experience so when they got here uh, the kid the son Sara, the character he goes to uh, this archaeological the, sorry this uh, historical site he was mm -hmm. taking photos and then eventually the town Adriah starts to get bombed that's on 1998 when they get oh, okay. bombed the, 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 the mosque the, the city yeah. and then when they dumped it they bombed it he was he was around the city around the, 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 the neighbor mm. so he took up on the call for like you know to save the country and like go for front lines so he goes back to his dad he tells him he's leaving for war and then he leaves and then he meets these new people makes new friends mm. goes through the life like you know all experiences and mm. stuff uh, he loses people who he like you know he goes through a lot of like you know yeah. terrible situations that the world would put you on mm. and then he like you know he managed to save his friend just just before he saves her he dies oh okay it's a really tragic and sad story mm. 
So, like, why did the director choose you specifically for this character? I think you, uh, there was a, a part uh, where was there was uh, English parts, oh, English okay. dialogues in the front. Mm -hmm. So he wanted uh, someone with, uh, like you know, someone who can read it and like you know, uh, do a good accent on the English mm -hmm. uh, scripts that he got that he wrote in the front, which we cut it off at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Nobody okay. watched that because we we cut it off. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessary to be on that movie. Yeah. So. But, but that's one of the reasons he called me, and he he saw the like you know the the physical features I had maybe mm. fitted in there. Yeah. So he wanted to do the movie. Mm. That's the reason he called me. So how was the work generally? How was the the movie, the shooting days and telling a story, like telling a story that's <laughs> actually a true one. So yeah. how was it all? It was fun. Mm. I'd say it was fun. It was hard at the same time. It wasn't easy. Because mm -hmm. we was out in a different uh, environment that we would normally like, you know, yeah. live. We live around the city of Asmara, and mm. this is uh, my environment for me. To be out there in a different environment, in a different situation, go back in time, mm -hmm. fill up this uh, character, like, yeah. on this spot, and like, be this guy that was like 20 years mm -hmm. before now. He was at the same age 20 yeah. years before now. And uh, like you know, feel his feelings, yeah. be him, and like you know, say all the words he to say. Like mm. it was, it was so surprising. Plus, I would say it was, um, it was great, mm -hmm. just great. We experienced a lot of new uh, areas, yeah, new different environments, like new people, mm. places I've never been to. Sanafa, for example, I've never seen yeah. that. I get the chance to see that. Yeah, I can. I can only also imagine the pressure that you felt trying to portray a true story. So, how did you get over it, and how did you successfully finish your like your work? Well, uh, trying to feel this character, trying to be this character, is obviously it's not easy because mm -hmm. this guy got a lot of things on his uh, box. Mm. He's from America. He's he's educated. He's a photographer, and he's mm. at the same time he's at the unit, yeah. saving his country. He's the only son to his parents. He mm. lost his mom when he was a kid. Mm. So many things I'm not uh, like you know familiar to in real life experience. Yeah, because I grew up in a totally different uh, situations, and like you know, mm -hmm. uh, it was it was not easy to be this guy. But I I try to study him, mm -hmm. try to meet more people closer to him, like you know. Environmentally, like behaviorally, with a lot of things yeah. that would match up with him. Mm -hmm. Try to study the character more. Mm. Try to go deep how he felt about it. Uh, did he had a girlfriend? Did he loved someone? Did he had a plans to get married? Yeah. Did he like you know the context behind the character that yeah. the artist should only know, the actor should only know. Mm. I started to, to to create those stuff, and we started talking with the director and the, the writer. And I asked them, yeah. and I did he, how how like you know. Uh, how many countries have he been to? Because that even that changes your perspective on things. Yeah. So I wanted to see how he reacts to things. How he, when he gets mad, how does how does he react? When he becomes happy, mm. he, happy moments. How does how does he react? Yeah. I was just trying to like you know study him. I think I got so close to him, but not be him at that moment. Yeah. So when we went there, to mm -hmm. that's when I became him. <laughs> okay. That was just filled it up mm. because before we hit the set, before yeah. we get to the scene, um, I wouldn't say I was hundred percent sure that I had the character in me. Yeah, I was like I'm close there, like eighty percent, but like what a twenty percent. You were just studying him. Yeah, but when I put my costumes, like you know, we yeah. get to the scene, we start shooting. Mm. I didn't. I I became him. Mm. I couldn't remember my own self. I, I was just him. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's. Pretty much how what happened. That's pretty great. So um, the Sotoge Awards is pretty big. I personally think that is pretty big for us. So um, what does this nomination mean to you, and how do you feel about it? Well, as you said, it it's really big, mm -hmm. really big deal. Uh, Sotoge Award is a uh, it's mm -hmm. the biggest deal in West Africa. Yeah, the biggest award for West Africa, and it's actually one of the top ranking uh, awards mm -hmm. on art. Stream. Not mm -hmm. only specifying it to uh, movies, mm -hmm. I'm specifying it on art levels, like you know, music and everything else. Of like, it's one uh, uh, characterized like amongst the uh, one of the greatest mm -hmm. uh, awards, like mm -hmm. top three, maybe. Yeah. So it means a lot 
Yeah. It means a lot to Eritrea. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to our people. Because yeah. we get the chance through this award, we get the chance to meet up with more artists, more uh, producers, more directors, more writers from yeah. different countries of Africa. Yeah. We get to connect to each other. We let them about our story. They let us. They would let us know what they came from, what's happening, and how it's gonna raise the like you know the culture is. It's gonna uplift it to, through you know connections with mm. different people in Africa because we all go through the same thing in Africa. Mm. There's always war between clans, between countries, between mm. over like things that we never supposed to go to war to. Yeah. It's mostly because it's on the interest of the Western countries, and that's what we, we try to imprint on the movie. Yeah. That's what the message we try to send on the movie. Mm. So it means a lot on us to get connected yeah. as not only artists, but Africans, to get our people to connect to each other. Mm -hmm. We artists can provide that chance. Yeah. We artists can like, you know, talk to each other, like, you know, get on common grounds, mm. let each other understand what we want. And like, well, if we work for the better of our people, we can help our people connect more to each other, mm. understand the similarities between us mm -hmm. Africans mm. from country to country. We're going through the same thing. How can we help each other? Yeah. Or you, like, you know, if example, if there is a, a guy from Burkina Faso, they probably have uh, like you know border clashes to the, to the neighboring countries, mm. and then we we having we going through the same thing right here in Eritrea. Yeah like with the Tigray region that's happening. So we can have a common ground and like, you know, talk to each other, like what's happening. So what, how can we like, you know, avoid these things yeah. and like focus on our like, you no know, development and growth yeah. on like, you know, many levels, like mm. economically, culturally, politically, we could just grow. Mm. But artists is the ones to give that opportunity to the people. Mm -hmm. They're like the, the, um, the ones that's chosen, like, you know, to represent the people to other communities mm. and at other societies of the world. The, the world yeah so this is going to be big for us it's mm. been big last year they did a lot of uh, diplomacy works mm. with the other african arts industries yeah uh, they've been talking with them for mm. longer period winter for example she went to sotoki award and like one second place for east african most uh, yeah uh, uh, appreciated artist mm -hmm. so she made new connections and really good connections tight connections mm -hmm. when, we, when she went to burkina Mm. And then she had the chance to, like, you know, till this day, talking with the artists that she met there. Yeah. Ask them what they're doing, what's going on, what should we do, focus on this, focus on that. Like, mm. let's do a movie together. Yeah. Maybe if we can find a movie for us Africans, like, you know, all the actors that's going to be on the Sotoki Award, mm. to make together about mm. peace and prosperity for Africa, maybe that would be a, a, an opportunity. But yeah. we have to meet up first to mm. get that opportunity and, like, to think about that, mm. to think better for our people. So this is a chance, this is so to get award is a big chance for us mm. to come together mm. as people, as artists, as like you know, representatives of our people mm. and everything levels. How can um, the how can your audiences and the people support you then? Well this is what they can do. They mm. can get the movie from Salina Entertainment mm -hmm. on YouTube. They can search on Salina Entertainment, they'll find mm. it there, Saara, the movie Saara is there. It's gonna be posted after a few hours from now. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's re-edited mm -hmm. according to the levels of the the, and the like you know, qualities that the people is gonna mm -hmm. have to watch. So I think we did uh, what we can do at the moment, mm -hmm. everything that we can do and present it to the people, so the people can watch it on Salina Entertainment. Mm -hmm. But then, then they have to vote for the movie, mm -hmm. which is uh, I'm nominated for Best Actor of East Africa and then the Golden. Award for Best Actor of Africa, mm -hmm. and uh, the People's the Public's Choice for African Best Actor. Yeah. So on that third category, I need people's votes to get me to next level, mm -hmm. to get the movie to the next level. Mm -hmm. If the people vote, the Asian people vote and help us, like you know, get uh, the movie to the next level, we're obviously gonna step up and like you know, get what we what, is, what we deserve. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if you want the movie, you can go to the website that's written on the lower third of the screen and let's help and vote this actor, this actress and actresses because as um, Sa'ara was just saying, it's a very big opportunity for us, for yeah. our growth. And um, so is there any message that you'd like to say before we end our show? Yeah, definitely. First thing first, uh I would like to appreciate and like be thankful to the people that helped me get here. Mm -hmm. All of my friends, 
that grew up with me. Mm -hmm. They've been very supportive throughout the years, throughout my career. Mm -hmm. It's been 12 years and they still, like, it's been 12 years. Mm -hmm. can't imagine. Yeah. They're still there, like, doing everything I wanted, like, you know, to do my, to, to get me to the next level. Always they're supporting me, helping me mm -hmm. financially, if you, like, you know, with the manpower and everything else, they, they I should, I, everything else I want help with. Mm -hmm. And then I want to be thankful to my family for believing in me, for mm -hmm. Uh, believing I can do this and I can make this. Mm -hmm. There was times that we had hard times, like, you know, they doubted me. They thought I should have taken, like, you know, another route mm -hmm. on this life. They thought I should have had another career. But then it finally got here. It finally got us here. So I'd be so thankful for them to be patient and, like, you know, waited for me to, mm -hmm. to make my art. Like, you know, to, to let the people see my art. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful thing that what they did to me. I'd be thankful to this ministry. Mm -hmm. For their like you know help with everything, everything. I'm, I mean, to say everything. Mm -hmm. from, like what we're going through for our promotions, like our movies to get there, like out in the world and everything mm -hmm. else for Ministry of Information. Mm -hmm. And I would like to thank the Commission of uh, Cultural Affairs and Sports and the whole Eritrean people community, like mm -hmm. Eritrean people and the communities out there in foreign country, mm -hmm. like you know foreign abroad countries, Eritreans in abroad countries and Eritreans out there in the field, mm. like in the front lines, yeah. protecting the country. Mm. I'd be so thankful for them because every time we go there trying to make a movie about the, what happened in the war times and stuff like that, they're always helping us, like, you know, showing us places, giving us the best of the best mm. to do the best things. Yeah. And they never asked us anything. They never asked for anything back. Mm -hmm. In return, they never asked for nothing. Yeah. Where they always provide but never taken. Yeah. So it's, I'd be really thankful for Samsung Girls Gave Her Too yeah. for giving us this opportunity, letting us, like, you know, Eritrean artists get to uh, awards. So to get, he's promising us he's going to take us farther next year. Yeah. He's got his friends, uh, really close friends, that's helping him with a lot of networks and the connections, all the Eritrean community out in Canada, yeah. out in the United States in uh, Europe they are always like you know promoting us like giving us like uh, push the push that we needed to lift to reach the next level yeah and uh, I would like the people to vote mm -hmm. on the movie mm -hmm. so we can win this thing mm -hmm. together because mm -hmm. this if the movie wins that means for everybody won for everybody to win because mm -hmm. everybody got like you know a mature's uh, picture in their house mm -hmm. the Everybody went through these devastating war times. Yeah. So this is a story that's reflecting about the war times that we went through. Mm -hmm. And Africa, all African countries go, are going through this thing that we're going through right yeah. now. So if we're going to make the change, if we're going like, you know, to push the people to, to a better situation, mm -hmm. we need to get this movie to the final lines, mm -hmm. to the finish line. And if we win this thing, we'll have a chance to say mm -hmm. our mind. To, to, to speak up mm. and then we're gonna tell the whole world the whole African countries nations yeah. Yeah. what we want mm -hmm. what we what we need to do and like you know what we should focus on mm -hmm. as artists as people and everything else um, one last thing before we finish so I'm really curious about your future plans what are we gonna expect from Sa'ar Fatum in the near future future plans yeah uh, the thing is I want to take our country to a higher level mm -hmm. that's what success is to me mm -hmm. if you ask me personally what is success to me success to me means one thing mm -hmm. success means, means one thing to me it's, mm -hmm. it's not the fame it's not the, it's, it's not the popularity it's not anything else it's can I get this beautiful country of Eritrea mm -hmm. to the next level yeah. Can I take our history and like, you know, our uh, methodology that we, on how we live, mm -hmm. the lifestyle that we live, present it to the world mm -hmm. and get all the appreciations that we need to get from there. Yeah. So I'm thinking like me and my friends are thinking going on higher levels, like trying to reach a higher market mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on the global levels right now because we have reached African levels, yeah. continental, so we need to go global. We're going to get together, work on this thing, mm. and we're going to get Eritrea to the next level. Mm. We're going to get Eritrea to the next level, definitely. Well, I wish you the best of luck, best of so wishes. Much. Thank you so much for your time again.
Thank you so much, Arena. It was a pleasure. Um, so this is all we had for you today. Um, please vote. Let's vote and um, get the movie reached the top. Yep. Um, vote for the movie. Mm. Um, I hope you enjoyed this show. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I was Sabrina Salomon and this is it for today. Thank you.